I got this old snowblower from my friend John. I don't know what's the problem with it. He said it's a gas line, but I could see there is a uh, missing primer bulb. likely to it has a dirty carb if that's the case it's an easy fix I like these old machines it even has the remote starter I mean uh, electric starter scraper still good it's all the way down Huh? Yeah. I just recently got rid of my CCR 3650 Toro. I gave it to my friend. I should have not given that, but I'm running out of room. But this one here, I think this is a. I'll make this work. Hopefully, I'll double check that. I'll make this work. Now I'm back home. Look what I got here. A friend of mine, my 92 year old friend, John, gave me this old single stage snow blower it's made by lawn boy there's the model 720e six and a half horsepower with an electric start there's your electric starter the button and here's your plug there's its choke it's a uh, for some reason I couldn't remember the word two stroke. It happens to me from time to time. It's a fuel mix. Gotta remember that. I forget things. Maybe it's the sign of Really, I'm this single stage is almost getting old. It's almost identical to my Toro CCR3650, which I I gave away. I recently gave a, gave it away to my friend mechanic. Uh, he's got he's got this long driveway, and uh, uh, I don't see him with a snowblower. So I gave it away. Plus, I, I needed space because I got a bunch of machines. I got a bunch of lawn boy um, lawn mowers. I love I love lawn boy lawn mowers, the old ones. Yeah, the reason why I gave away my my Toro CCR3650 is because I'm running out of space, and here I am. getting another machine don't ask I don't know why <laughs> but I love this machine I mean this could be a good backup for me if I can able to start it I got a lot of things to 
to check here obviously it's missing primer bulb I, I could I could replace that easily I think I have a spare if not I can I can find I can find one from my local store or online he said that the gas line the hose is leaking I don't know if this is the hose he's talking about but he said there's a leak and uh, there's your fuel filter of that I haven't done anything yet to this machine. But I know it has a good compression. No lock up there. We'll see. Winter is coming and I will have a lot of driveways to clear. So this can be a good backup for me so I'll keep you updated and hopefully the next video you will see this running so I did manage to start uh, this single stage snowblower I uh, used a uh, I used a starter fluid wouldn't start so I used a starter fluid now this stuff here if you can avoid it don't use it because it's a it, it will it will cause harm to your machine so don't do what I do okay This snow thrower is a two stroke, meaning it already has oil inside the engine, so using starting fluid won't really hurt the machine, the engine. Just use a small amount of it, a, a quick squirt, and it should be more than enough. Now, I still advise people not to use starting fluid. Uh, instead, if it's a two-stroke, use gas and oil or a carb cleaner. Temporarily, you know. Yeah, let's start this.
I got myself a new snowblower. Now going back to what I've said earlier about not to use starting fluid in your small engine. Uh, I, I wish I could e explain that to you in great details, in details, but I'm not a mechanic and I, I choose not to. Uh, but there's a lot of websites or videos out there online, legit websites, right, that will explain to you in great details you know about the starting fluid so I think it's good to search that especially if you're working on your machines it's always good, it's always good idea to tie to put a tie on your keys there so you won't lose it In case this way you prevent it from so you don't have to lose your key it's a good idea that's on you can't pull that out it's off I like to leave the key out so that if you leave it like that Sometimes they get they get hit by something and uh, they they break. So I like to pull them out. You know, there. It's better. <laughs>